gravitational force is the weakest force in nature small g which is acceleration due to gravity will have the same value at any place or at any point on the surface of the earth it is 9.8 and set itself in outer space is called escape velocity hello students thought for the day it does not matter how slowly you go until and unless you don't stop reaching your destiny define your destiny define your goal don't stop until you reach that and success is yours continuing my discussion on gravitation we understood that every particle of matter in this universe should attract every other particle with a force where the nature of the force is directly proportional to the product of the mass of the two particles and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them we told gravitational force is the weakest force in nature and it exists between two particles by virtue of their mass and we also defined gravitational constant which was nothing but the force acting between two particles exclusively of mass 1 kg when separated by a distance of 1 meter and also we understand something called acceleration due to gravity and finally we remarked saying that acceleration due to gravity does not depend upon the mass of the interacting body but depends only on the mass of the earth now continuing my today's discussion we will understand how acceleration due to gravity varies as we go away from the surface of the earth how acceleration due to gravity varies deep inside the core of the earth at the equator at the poles so my today's discussion will configure the variation of acceleration due to gravity with different parameters now the first thing i study is the variation of g acceleration due to gravity with altitude which means with height 
what happens to acceleration due to gravity as we go above the surface of the earth variation of small j with altitude with height now i assume m is the mass of the earth as we did before capital m denotes the mass of the earth and r denotes the radius of the earth so capital m denotes the mass of the earth and capital r denotes the radius of the earth g acceleration due to gravity at a place on the surface of the earth here i want to make a remark the value of small g which is acceleration due to gravity at any place on the surface of the earth is the same please to remember this on the surface of the earth small g which is acceleration due to gravity will have the same value and its value is 9.8 meter per second square at any place on the surface of the earth you will be doing an experiment a simple pendulum experiment which will verify this concept variation of acceleration due to gravity is seen only when we go away from the surface of the earth so my dear students keep in mind the value of small g anywhere on the surface of the earth is 9.8 meter per second square anywhere outside the surface variation is seen therefore small g is the acceleration due to gravity at a place on the surface of the earth g dash acceleration due to gravity at a height h above the surface of the earth h is some height for example if this is radius center of the earth here this is g so height h where acceleration due to gravity is g dash and the g dash is g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r so this is the expression for acceleration due to gravity at a certain height above the surface of the earth at an altitude h above the surface of the earth and please to understand it is see that as altitude increases as height increases acceleration due to gravity decreases a very important consequence as altitude 
as we go away from the surface of the earth, as the height from the surface of the earth increases, acceleration due to gravity decreases. Next we study variation of G with depth. What happens to acceleration due to gravity as we go deep into the core of the earth, inside the earth. Again, G, acceleration due to gravity at a place on the surface of the earth. My dear students, I have clearly told anywhere on the surface of the earth, G is 9.8 meter per second square. The value of G does not vary at any place or at any point on the surface of the earth. It is 9.8 meter per second square. G dash, acceleration due to gravity at a depth H below the surface of the earth. Then below the surface of the earth at a depth H inside the core of the earth. G dash is equal to G into 1 minus H divided by R. This is the expression defining acceleration due to gravity at a depth H. Again the consequence, as the depth increases, acceleration due to gravity decreases. So please to understand either with increase in height, what we call as altitude or with increase in depth inside the core, acceleration due to gravity always decreases. This is interesting. Variation of G with latitude. What if some angle is defined? How acceleration due to gravity varies with latitude? We know acceleration due to gravity is less at the equator. Always do remember this. Acceleration due to gravity is less at the equator and more at the poles. The value of acceleration due to gravity is less at the equator and more at the poles. Now, omega is the angular velocity of the earth at a latitude defining some angle theta at a place at a latitude defining an angle theta then g dash acceleration due to gravity at this place where there is a latitude is G minus omega square R cos theta. This is G dash at latitude. At the equator, I told gravity is less. Theta is 0. Cos 0 is 1. So what happens to this expression? This becomes G dash at the equator. At the poles, 
theta is 90, cos 0 is 0. So, g dash becomes equal to g. So, please to understand, at equator, gravity is less and more at the poles. Wherever there is latitude, g dash is g minus omega square r cos theta. At the equator, theta is 0, cos theta is 1. At the poles, theta is 90, cos 0 is 0. Very interesting concept. Something called escape velocity. I throw a ball into space. Commonly observed phenomena. It will reach some maximum height and come back to the earth. But what about a rocket which is carrying a satellite? It can just escape from the surface of the earth and place the satellite in the outer space. Why is that not happening with the ball? The ball does not have sufficient velocity to overcome the gravitational pull of the earth. Very easily, the ball is influenced by the gravitational pull. It is under the influence of gravity. Hence, comes back to the surface of the earth. So, we say, the minimum velocity required for any object to escape the gravitational influence of the earth overcome the gravitational pull of the earth and set itself in outer space is called escape velocity. It is constant for a given planet. For Earth, the value of escape velocity is 11.2 kilometer per second. To escape from the gravitational influence of the earth, the velocity required is 11.2 km per second. And the expression for escape velocity is root of 2 gm divided by r. Note m is the mass of the earth, r is the radius of the earth. Please, please, please do note that escape velocity is independent of the mass of the body and it is independent of angle of projection. It does not depend upon the mass of the body nor the angle of projection. So, in my today's session, we have studied the variation of acceleration due to gravity at altitudes, depths and latitudes. A very interesting phenomenon called escape velocity. The next session, I'll do up with satellites. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.